In this video, we will be talking about the direction of moment. Now, um, I'm assuming that you already know how to compute moment, right? The tendency for rotation, be it in 2D or in 3D, be it scalar or vector, right? Be it force times distance or R cross F. This video is not going to focus on that calculation, rather how to understand the rotation, right? So, um, there are two scenarios basically, right? One scenario is we are talking about 2D problem. Everything is in a single plane, for example, in the plane of this whiteboard. And next is about 3D, for example, in the 3D space. How to understand the direction of moment in 3D space, right? So, um, in 2D space, for example, in this plane of the whiteboard, there's actually only two possibilities of rotation, right? So, it is either clockwise or counterclockwise, right? That's the only two possibility in the reality, right? Because if you want to rotate this, whatever, in this plane, for example, if I have, what do I have? If I have my hand here, for example, right? In this plane, right, this, this can only rotate two ways, either clockwise or counterclockwise. It cannot rotate any other way. So, when the question is a 2D problem, uh, it becomes weird if you answer that it rotates in a different way other than just clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, how to relate this in a 3D? Because this whiteboard is actually a plain whiteboard in a 3D space, right? So, for example, if my body is here on this plane and uh, the, all the forces are all in this plane only, then there's only two possibilities of rotation, right? Either if this is clockwise, right? from your perspective, this is clockwise, right? So, either I rotate clockwise or I rotate counterclockwise from your perspective, right? Um, so that's the only thing, but in terms of IJK, right, in terms of IJK, so for example, if you are still considering this two plane, normally we will say that, um, let's use a read, this is x-axis and this is y-axis, right, x-axis, y-axis. If this is the case, if this is x, this is y, z-axis will go straight towards you, right? that axis will be going out of the whiteboard towards your direction meaning that uh, position vector or unit vector i will be here positive i here negative i here right positive j here negative j here positive k that way negative k inside right hopefully you understand that and you can imagine now in that case for example right if i rotate like this in a 3D space, how do I describe that? Basically, if you understand already the right hand rule, the rotation, if I consider the rotation to be uh, clockwise, right? The, ro the rotation to be clockwise, then the rotation is this way, right? This is the rotation of my body, right? And your, my thumb, your thumb there, it have to be right hand rule, right? So it's actually going towards inside of the whiteboard right so this rotation in the 3d space is corresponding to if if you can see from side but it's actually this direction right it's rotating here the thumb is going inside so it will be if the rotation is for example let's say the rotation is 10 kilo newton meter in 2d clockwise that is corresponding to 10 kilo newton meter negative k right or perhaps that k okay let me rewrite that and can you see this because this is too thin so in a vector so if moment is 10 kilo newton meter clockwise the vector will be negative 10 k unit vector kilo newton meter right negative k your thumb going in meaning that is clockwise if my rotation is the other way around which is counterclockwise now this all the finger is rotating in this way right 
So your thumb or my thumb or the right hand thumb is going towards you, right? To produce counterclockwise rotation, right? So when you have counterclockwise rotation, let's say M is 50 Newton meter. So B in terms of vector, it will be vector of moment equal to plus 50 K newton meter right because why because the in term of 3d space um the direction is um, this, um described based on your thumb because you cannot see it counterclockwise or clockwise in 3d right for example okay there's three dimensional of rotation that is possible right now we are talking still about this plane so that's why you have counter -clo uh, clockwise or counterclockwise but the whole body here, if in the 3D space, I can also rotate this way, right? Or the back, back, right? Meaning that that is about this axis. Meaning about this axis, I'm rotating this way or that way, right? So my thumb is either that way or that way, correct? So if this thumb is here, the rotating is this way, right? So for example, it will be like this. If your thumb here, my thumb, the right hand of the thumb here, it will be rotating the other way around right so this rotation right so and i can also rotate about um, this axis and this axis right so example my thumb upwards so the rotation is like this right if I upwards it's going here if downward it's going here right the rotation so in reality the thumb can be anywhere in 3d right for example in this direction for example it have some component of this component, this component, and upwards component, right? For example, because in force, you can imagine, right? If I have this component, this component, and the component, the force it will be some here, somewhere here. Similarly, this moment, if I have this component of rotation, this component of rotation, and this component of rotation, the resultant will be somewhere like this, and the rotation will be, meaning that if I position my body with, according to the thumb, like that, it will be something like this and I will rotate in that way, right? So it is in 3D space rotation. From that perspective, perpendicular perspective, it is either clockwise or counterclockwise. But in a 3D space, you have to describe it in a certain way. Hence, in terms of IJK based on your thumb, right? So hopefully you can relate between vector expression of moment as well as the scalar or the 2D. Right, so that is basically just the direction of the moment, right? So hopefully you understand what it means when we say the moment is 5i plus 6j plus 7k, for example. What exactly does it mean? Or oh, meaning that your thumb have positive i, positive j, positive k component, and it will rotate that in this way in the real world, in the real life, right? But here I think it's important to understand just to relate from 2D what it means in the 3D space, right? It just means that way, right? So for example, if the axis is different, for example, if I'm using, this is X, Y, and Z. So the, the whiteboard will be different, right? Because X is here, Y is here, Z here. So this will be Y, this will be Z. Meaning it will be a Z, Y, Z plane, right? If this X, Y, and Z, and I'm rotating like this, meaning that I'm rotating clockwise in the YZ plane. So my thumb, okay, if I'm rotating like this, that now clockwise, so my, my thumb is negative, negative, so okay, negative I, right? Because X, Y, Z, so positive I, so negative I here, right? So it'll rotate this way. So it will be negative 10 I, for example. So this is just a, a short explanation, hopefully, because in the quiz, I noticed some student seems to make a mess of this in terms of how to understand actually um, what is the direction of the mom moment. Because in 2D, its direction is just rotation, so it's easy, clockwise or counterclockwise. But in 3D as well, it is some form of rotation about a certain axis. But what we are describing is that axis of rotation, your thumb. Right, so... Yeah, this is simple in terms of 2D. In 3D, uh, hopefully you can appreciate that. So 
the operation is just the same as just like you have um, force in vector moment in vector you can just add for example if you have rotation like this plus rotation like this what is the resultant you just add in term of vector you get something in the middle that's the rotation hopefully that helps hopefully um, especially this video is just made for those who are confused about these things hopefully it helps thank you for watching hopefully it helps all the best see you next time